All right, guys, we're back in the shop today, and we got a new toy. What is it? Something to go along with the rest of our mini tools. There it is. It's a mini lathe. So yeah. We've got one of these little thing is tiny. Super excited about this actually. I've been wanting a lathe for a long time to make bushings and small parts and all sorts of small spacers, all that kind of stuff. Don't really have the space or the money for a big lathe. So yeah, pretty pumped about this. Uh, these things are cheap. These are, I don't know, we'll put it up on the screen. I think I paid $460, $430, something like that for this. Not a lot of money and it's a seven by 12, similar to the Harbor Freight seven by 10. We're gonna be able to make little bushings for my rear arms like this, which go in there, which is what my lower front arms are as well, which I have some poly ones in there like this right now. But these things suck. They would work good on a street car, but they are not tough enough. See how squishy they are, I can squish them with my hand. They're not tough enough for a race car, so. We got the arms all steeled it up. Lowers are on the car. We got new Heim joints on there. So we're gonna put this lathe together and we're gonna make stuff. <clears throat> to make little spacers like this, instead of having to cut them on a grinder or something, sway bar bushings. I've always had to outsource all of my machine work and I tell you what, it is tough to find even a dude with a lathe around here that has the time to make anything. On our own now. It'll be big enough to do small fun stuff and teach me how to work a lathe because I will be the first to admit I have no idea what I'm doing. So this will be fun. I ran a lathe in high school and shop class, but that was like 10 years ago or whatever. Not that long, I'm not that old yet, but it was a long time ago and I ran it like once. So this is gonna be exciting. I'll show you the tools I bought because this doesn't come with any tooling. Went down to my local Harbor Freight and done bought some central machinery mini lathe tools. So we'll see how they work, but we're pretty much just going to be doing plastic. So I think they're going to work just fine. I have no idea which one to use because I don't know anything about any of this, but I watched some YouTube videos. All right, so here it is. It's the Viver, Vivor variable speed mini lathe. Looks pretty big sitting on the bench, but it's actually really small. Here is my water bottle. My water bottle is like max capacity. It's pretty tiny. Initial thoughts, it doesn't look that bad. It's all oily so it didn't rust during shipping because you know it came on a boat from China. One thing that is really dumb is the tailstock has this lock on it which folds down and you can push it forward but if you look you can't tip it back up because it hits it hits the back guard so the only way I can go forward If I were to slide it all the way up there like I'm drilling something, I can't lock it. The only way to lock it is way back here. 
which makes zero sense at all but that's it's whatever i'll just cut this and make the handle a little shorter but uh other than that this was laying in the bottom of the crate which looks like a little handle <clears throat> and it doesn't fit any i mean i would think it would go in here but it doesn't really doesn't thread in there uh it doesn't thread in there that already has a handle that's loose that has a handle that has i don't i don't know what this is for look at these two little thingies some more chucks yeah. thingy here told you guys i don't know what i'm doing here that's cool looks like it works i don't know how you lock it in there but it goes in there that's what that little set screws for. It doesn't seem like it goes in far enough. Oh, maybe it's hitting it. No, I don't know. We'll figure it out. That goes in there for sure, though. That's cool. What is this? Would you look at that? Comes with a freaking light. I didn't know you could get this quality from China. Well, there it is. Kind of nervous to just try and start cutting. I do have. Some Dalrin or Durlin, Dalrin. I always call it Durlin, but I think it's called Dalrin. Obviously, we have to cut a much smaller piece out of this, but we gotta make ourselves some bushings for in there. Oh well. Pretty happy with it overall. I can't wait to start cutting stuff. So, yeah, I am going to get these. I'm going to throw one in there and I don't know, maybe try and cut something tonight. Got my safety squints on. I was able to successfully face it. Uh, you probably can't see that. Oh, there's our party light. Turned out actually really good. That little slot in there. And that's where that is. So you can see that's nice and even. Uh, this is what I'm using to cut my stock with which came out extremely crooked, which is why I just took all that time to face it. But I don't know, this might be wrong. People might hate on me for this. I don't care, I'm learning. This is how I learn. It's how I learned how to use that. It's how I learned how to use everything, it's fun. Uh, and in case you're wondering, this is just a Harbor Freight Bauer uh, Porta Band. And then you get yourself I think this is like a 10 by 10 plate piece of quarter inch steel. Cut a slot in it. Take off the original guard that comes on the porta band. Take these two bolts out, countersink them, drill holes in your plate, countersink them, put them back in, and then I welded a piece of one inch square tube on the bottom to mount my vise. Uh, I definitely got some fine tuning to do, but. Guys, we are back in the shop today. It's been a few days. We're still working on the lathe. I think I have it figured out pretty good because I've made all these so far. <clears throat> I
All right, guys, so final thoughts on the Viver 7x12 mini lathe. Um, I like it a lot. For 450 bucks ish it seems to work flawless. The, my, my biggest complaint on it is it shipped without one of these handles, so I had to s steal this one for the tailstock from the main lead screw handle. Kind of have to switch them back and forth as I need to use whatever part. Uh, no big deal. It's just M6 by 1.0 threads. So that bolt goes in there. And I just got to make a little, little handle for it. Now I have a lathe to make a little handle. It'll be fun. Um, yeah, it, it works really good. I kind of had to... I had to center this. Because it didn't, didn't come shipped centered to the workpiece. No big deal. Ah, it's going to be super handy to have here. Uh, if you're contemplating buying one of these because you need to make small bushings or spacers or brass something, I would say pull the trigger. Do it. It's getting harder and harder and harder to find machinists. Yeah, if I could recommend one of these, if you have a small shop like I do and you do stuff like this or that or even those, I would recommend one of the here, one of these Viver mini lays because they are pretty awesome. And this this little short one here was just left over from uh, my stock that I had, so it'll still work as a bushing. It just doesn't go quite all the way through the arm like they should. Maybe I'll just throw it in the toolbox. Take it to the track as a spare. The only thing I have left to do is get a three quarter drill bit. I have right now is half inch. But I will get that tomorrow and I will have these finished up and in the arms. But for now, that's it on the mini lathe. Uh, thank you guys for watching. And if you're still here, subscribe. Helps us out a lot. And thank you to all the new subscribers that we got recently. The last couple videos, we've gotten a lot of uh, new subscribers, so we really appreciate that. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed, and we'll see you next time.